Well, it's that time of the year. The holidays are coming around the corner and you're probably thinking about gifts and what to get your friends and family, especially those who like riding bikes. Well, today I'm going to be talking about 10 gifts that you can purchase for your friends and family who enjoy cycling. The items which I'm about to show you are those who enjoy riding road and gravel bikes. I'm going to be listing these items from the least expensive to the most expensive, so let's get started. Coming in at the least expensive are socks. Uh, these two pairs of socks come at different price points. I have here on my left side is the are socks by Danish Cycling. Danish Cycling uh, brand you can purchase from Amazon and you can get three pairs of this for $23.95. This one is by LaCole, and you can get a pair of this for $20. Now, what's the difference between the two of them? Well, this one's a little thicker, and you can definitely, uh, this is perfect for people who are riding in the fall season or when the temperature starts to cool. So this is great for that because it's a little thicker, whereas this pair I love wearing in the summertime because they are nice and thin and highly breathable. And they also come in many different colors, not just white or black. The next thing you might want to consider purchase, purchasing for a friend or family is a neck gaiter. Neck gaiter is very popular, especially in the cooler temperatures, because you can shed these off if you no longer need them. This neck gaiter is by Under Armour, and I love this because it's not too tight. It's got this little cinch here, and you can still have enough room in the neckline without restricting your breathing. Um, it's also wind resistant and most importantly in cooler temperatures it keeps my face nice and warm. I unfortunately do not have a price for this particular neck gaiter. It's an older neck gaiter so if you go on the Under Armour website they do have many different ones that go for around $20. Now sometimes your loved one or buddy enjoys their long rides. Well, you can't do a long ride without something to keep your foods and extra items to carry. I have here our top, top two bags. One is by a Rock Rose brand, which you can purchase from Amazon. I also have here is an Apidura bag, which is also purchased on Amazon, but you could probably uh, get a better deal on their website. This Rock Rose top tube bag I really like because it has a thin profile and it's a zip closure so that you can easily keep everything in place inside this bag. The downside is it's advertised as waterproof, but it's not fully waterproof. So I don't recommend you keeping any electronics in here because eventually if it downpours or if it rains for a longer period of time, it will leak water inside. This Apidura top tube bag is what I brought with me in our tour of Connecticut. What I like about this is that not only is it a thin profile, but it's an, also a really easy way of uh, opening and closing because it's a magnetic clasp. It's also waterproof and on this couple of days on our tour of Connecticut, it did rain and it kept everything nice and dry inside because I had electronics like camera, extra batteries, and my phone in here and it kept it nice and dry during a downpour. Downside though is that if you pack this it actually will expand and that's a downside because if you get off the saddle let's say you're riding on a steep climb your knee will actually hit this and it will open the bag. This goes for $68. So it appears as though we're nearing the $70 to $80 range um, and for that, I have here our lights. Lights are one of the most important things that you can have on your bike in order to be seen by motorists. I don't ever ride without lights because sometimes I wear dark clothing just because it's what they have for cycling clothing. And as, motorist, as a motorist myself, it's really hard to see someone who is wearing dark clothing without having lights. So if your loved one or friend enjoys riding their bikes day or night, they will appreciate you getting them these pair of lights. And they are by Lazine. I have here is a front light. It's a 600 XL. And what I like about this light it has is it has many different settings and it's also very bright. So once you turn it on, 
okay? It brings you to the different settings. So it could be a flashing light like this. I prefer writing in flashing, flash, fast flashing lights because it's easy for motorists to see me, especially if they are turning into a street or a driveway and I'm coming down a hill fairly fast. I also have this rear light, which has 300 lumens. Um, this rear light separately is $59.99. And I know I said that this comes in a pair, but this, these two actually don't come in a pair. At least I don't think they do. Um, but the pair for this would be the front and its own rear light, which is $79.99. But I purchased this one separately as a, another light for when we did the tour of Connecticut. And this one I really like is because it's 300 lumens, so it's really bright. And you also need a rear light because you need to be seen by motorists. And it comes in different light settings. For this, this is $59.99. You can also purchase this from Amazon. If your friend or family enjoys torturing themselves in the winter time, you can also consider getting heated insoles. Yes, I didn't realize that they make heated insoles. Uh, what I like about this is that it is rechargeable. There is a USB port in the back for each one of them and you can recharge them before each ride. These go for $79.99 on Amazon. Um, it comes with the following things, uh, a remote to change the setting. So it comes in high, medium, and low, similar to the pair of gloves and also the charging cable for them. Speaking of keeping ourselves nice and warm in the cool months, a base layer is a much appreciated gift. I have many different types of base layer, but this particular one I really like because it's specific to ladies. And this ba base layer is by Rafa. What I love about this base layer is it's a two for one. It's a base layer and, the, and a neck gaiter. If you could see this, it's almost looks like a turtleneck. And the reason for that is nice and stretchy so that it covers your face. It keeps your face nice and warm. In addition to that, it also has an opening in the back to allow your ponytail to come through. So I really appreciate brands that think about women's needs and something as little as an opening to allow the ponytail to come through is just genius to me. So this base layer goes for $100 and it's made by Rafa. Next up are gilets or in the US we call them vests. I have two pairs of gilets here. I have this one, this is by Rafa. And I like this by Rafa because it has reflective uh, in the front and the back. But the downside for this is that because the reflective strips are around the chest, it's not as stretchy. Uh, this allows you to open the vest from the bottom and the top. And it also has three pockets in the back. My new all-time favorite vest is by Lacole, which goes for $115. I like this vest because it has a mesh backing, so it allows it to be more breathable in the back. Unfortunately, there is no pocket in the back, but if you are wearing jerseys underneath, you should have you should already have pockets in your jerseys anyway. It keeps me nice and warm. Uh, especially when it's really windy, it keeps my core temperature nice and warm. It's super lightweight and it can pretty much roll up to a small ball and you can actually put this in your back pocket. Now on to thermal bib tights. I have two pairs of thermal bib, bib tights. One is by Gorewear. And this particular one, this is made for ladies. And the plus side about this is it has a zipper in the back, which allows you to unzip this so you can use the bathroom without having to undress. Um, I also like the fact that the groin area has a wind protection. So if you're going really fast, um, you can definitely feel the wind while well, the wind protection keeps your groin nice and warm. Last but not least, this has a fleece lining. So another added extra warmth for when you're riding and it's got a bright neon green fabric in the bottom so that you can be seen. The next bib tight, the thermal bib tight that I use is by Pactimo. Uh, Pactimo bib tights are great because they have really good chamois. So I like to wear this on long rides, even though it doesn't have the wind protection on the groin area. It has thermal, so it keeps you nice and warm. And it also 
has a way for you to use the bathroom without having to undress. So it allows, there's a really stretchy fabric on the top and so you just pull down and you can use the bathroom quickly. These go for $120, whereas the Gore bib tights go for $195. Now we're slowly moving up into the price points here. We're starting to go up to the $200 to $250 range. Um, keeping the theme here to warmth, I have here our Seal Skins gloves. And Seal Skins gloves are heated. Uh, it comes in three heat settings, low, medium, and high. If you have a high setting, I believe it lasts for two hours, and then the lower you go, the, the longer the battery is extended. Last but not least, we're going to get up to something more expensive, which is about a $200 to $500 range, and that is GPS devices. What I have is the Wahoo Element, the original Wahoo Element, and I've had it for three years and it works just fine. I can connect my power meter to it so I can see my power. It can display my routes, whatever I created, and it displays the elevation profile. So whatever ride I'm doing, I can see whether or not I'm approaching a climb. Uh, it does the Strava Live segments, it does workouts, and if you have electronic shifting, it also shows your gear selection. So depending on what brand you choose, it can range from $200 to $500. Well, thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from this channel, don't forget to subscribe. As always, stay safe out there and don't forget to enjoy your rides. Bye-bye.